Vivian, it's absolutely fantastic to, to meet you, to meet someone who's doing the research, which for me represents, I, mean, I hate using that word, but hope, you know, hope that something will turn up to, um, to cure me. So tell me, so what is your project? What is your research? Well, our lab studies bowel cancer. Which is what general. I've got. Exactly. Um, we basically want to understand um, how stem cells are maintained in healthy guts and what goes wrong when cancer okay, develops. I'm going to stop, stop you there, sir. Yeah. You're doing research into, into bowel cancer. Right. You've just mentioned stem cells. Now, I know they're kind of like the first building block, aren't they? The stem cells are things that can become all sorts of other cells. So why are they so important in your research? Stem cells are origin of organs. Every organ has its own stem cells. If you have infection, inflammation in the gut, these stem cells will be responsible to repair the tissue and regenerate. But too much stem cell is also a problem. If you have too many stem cells, they will overgrow and eventually turn into cancer. Now, can I ask you something sure, sure. that uh, I understand you have stage four bowel cancer. You know what exactly the mutation type yeah. do you have? Vivian, I knew you were going to ask me this question. So one of the things I did this morning is I texted one of my doctors and well, she gave me the answer to that question. What kind of cancer have I mm. got? Do you know what? It's like Greek to me. So I'm just going to pass you my phone and, and you can tell me. You don't have mutation in KRAS or BRAF. It's two different genes. Um, it's one of the frequent cancer genes mutated in different cancer. It is quite a good news. If you have wild type, you have normal copy of these genes, you are actually um, eligible to the drug called EGF receptor inhibitors. Well, that's what I'm going to have tomorrow. Are you going to have? I think you An have EGF receptor, receptor inhibitor. inhibitor. Absolutely, spot on. I'm thinking whether you have actually discovered anything interesting about human body after you discovered you have cancer? I have, you know, and, and, it, and it's quite interesting because I've had like five operations. I mean, major mm. stuff, you know, my liver and so on, gut, liver. I've had dozens and dozens and dozens of rounds of, of chemo and this EGF uh, receptor, receptor inhibitors, inhibitors all, all these other kind of drugs. And the one thing I've learned is just how resilient my body is. Mm. It keeps coming back for more. Well, this sounds almost like it's out of science fiction. I was told mm. you're kind of experimenting on something called an organoid. Yes. So what, what is that? So organoids are also called mini organs. They are essentially stem cells growing three-dimensionally in a dish to form a little cluster of cells with the structure and function very similar to the organs in our body. For example, in our lab, we grow a lot of so-called mini guts. Or mini guts? Mini guts, so yeah. Mini versions of my, my Exactly. Gut. Would I be allowed to ha have, a, have a look in your lab? Could I see some? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So our lab is right Can here. Do you want to come? Thank yeah. you. This is a piece of mouse guts, mouse oh bowel God. in a tube. So this is the full uh, small I'm bowel. If I'm large bowel. Or not. <laughs> well, that's actually a bit of mouse bowel. Yeah, so they are long tube coiled up. It's small bowel and large bowel together. And that's how we uh, generate organoids. We can isolate stem cells from the guts, and then you can um, process it and grow oh, them in a dish. So it actually starts with a proper live, I mean, not exactly. live, obviously, but a real mouse. Yeah. So we get the stem cells from the guts and then and we then grow, them grow them in a dish. These are uh, individual organoids and each budding uh, structure, they are, the stem cells are located here. So all these budding structures. So that's a healthy gut we just That's saw. the healthy mouse gut. So these ones are human patient organoids derived from different human patients. And they look actually quite different from yeah, mouse because they're more dense and more complex. But is this healthy or not healthy? No, no, these are all cancers. So when your research is done, and I know you said it's some years mm. away, are we getting to the stage where the treatment a doctor might give me mm. would look different to the treatment a doctor might give you? Because we're so, it's so personalised. The organoid research that we talk about, if we can use it to screen the drug first, we can actually um, grow these cancer organoids and test all different drugs in the clinic and see which one responds to that particular patient. And you can use it for personalized medicine. Wow. So not all patients is using the same drug. And that will be more effective and reduce toxicity. Please, please do some overtime. We try our best. <laughs>